Confused on where to put the angle on inclined plane problems? Don't feel like memorizing it or just want to see where it comes from? We're going to prove this using three basic principles from geometry. First, that a straight line is always 180 degrees. Second, that a triangle has a total of 180 degrees. And three, a right angle is just 90 degrees. From the last video, we learned that rotating the coordinate axis could save us time and effort when solving inclined plane problems. But when we do that, we then need to break up the force of gravity into the parallel and perpendicular components relative to the surface. Notice how when I'm drawing the part of the force of gravity, I follow directly along the line of the normal force. This is important later on, but remember that anything perpendicular to the surface is a right angle or 90 degrees. Did you notice how long of an arrow I drew for the force of gravity? I've made it longer this time so you can see how it forms a right angle with the base of the slope. Now, all angles in a triangle must add to 180 degrees. And this is why I drew that arrow so long. Because this means that if we close that off, it makes it really easy to visualize that it's a similar triangle. This means that the angle on the top of the slope must be 60 degrees. All right, let's make an arc that reminds us that a line is 180 degrees. So if one point of the line to the other is 180 degrees, and we know that there's that right angle that followed right from the normal force, and we've just found that other 60 degrees, we've pretty much found everything but one angle. So we take 180 degrees, subtract our 90 degrees from that right angle, and subtract again the 60 degrees that we just found, and we find the missing angle of 30 degrees. And that is how we find the angle for those inclined plane problems. I hope this video really helped you visualize why the angle in that small triangle is the same as the angle of our slope. If for some reason you weren't able to get it, leave a comment below and I'll answer it. Or watch the video again, and maybe you'll pick something up this time that you didn't last time. Well, until next time, see you later.